Bringing to you this show tonight from the nation's capital. I can't wait, so let's get straight into it. So glad to have your company and welcome to House and Home. Coming up tonight on the show, we have Cooking with Goodman Fielder International with Godwin and Chef Roger. Sick and tired of doing laundry with your bare hands? Well, Brian Bell has all the variety of washing machines that you can choose from. We'll then show you how you can make jumbo flower pot and jumbo cup flower pot out of recycling tires. And later, Dr. Ambi talks to us about lifestyle diseases and health and healthy minds, so stick around for that. Cleaning rugs and home habits. And finally, we collect some bits and pieces of stuff lying around at home and put them to multi-purpose use. Things that you thought you couldn't work with that makes miracles. Well, stay tuned to be amazed because we got it all for you on Life Hacks, only on House and Home. But first up, to all of you who love chicken, here is Chef Roger now with Godwin Aki on Cooking with Goodman Filler. Hello everyone, we're here again, Chef Roger and I. Now Chef Roger tonight for Cooking with Goodman Fielder is going to show us another simple recipe. Now this is one of my favorites, it's chili chicken wings. So um, as you can see, we've got our ingredients and everything ready for Chef Roger to uh, start cooking. So Chef. Good evening viewers, good evening Godwin. I'm going to do uh, GFC today, uh, Goodman Fielder fried chicken. It is one of a kind and you can try it at home and uh, uh, treat your one talks for evening meal or whatever it is and it is pretty simple and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. I got um, flame uh, self-raising flour here and I got uh, filled as uh, corn flour as well. Also have some chili powder and my chicken wings are already boiled so it's pretty easy to cook. I have a uh, braised mayonnaise and I'm going to mix that with um, chili sauce to give, give a bit of a, a tangy taste on it. So it is a bit spicy. I also have some uh, uh, fielders um, vinegar as well, which is, gives a sharp taste as well. Uh, chef, so can you tell our viewers how long did you uh, pre-cook these uh, chicken wings for? Um, viewers, I uh, only boiled chicken wings just for seven minutes. Um, make sure the water is boiling and drop it in the boiling water and seven minutes and take, take it out, it's done. So it's very quick uh, recipe and we're going to start it. Okay, so what do we need first? Okay, self-raising flour. Yep. All of them, yep. Half of that corn flour. Corn flour, yes. Yep. So now. now I will add the chili powder, but uh, it's again, depends how spicy you want it. And, uh, I'll have it spicy, but then it's all up to individual taste. That's enough, God. Now, Chef, this is going to be really hot. It's not for the faint-hearted, but I will love it. I'll add some um, salt to taste. Two teaspoons of salt. Yep. Mix it nicely. Now, Godwin, I will add uh, some... Um, vinegar? Yep. Conwell's white vinegar. Just a bit, that's enough. Now mix it. And uh, now I'm going to add some water for Godwin to mix it. So this will be very thick batter. So chef, just uh, can you tell me why we're pouring the water and making the batter? Making the batter is uh, to get the spice onto the chicken wings, so it will hold the spice very well. Okay. So, 
and also it, it will fry very well and give a crunchy uh, finish as well. So that's a idea of making that batter. But again, the batter will be very uh, thick. Crunchy coating on the chicken wings. How's that? That's good. Okay, Godwin, that seems to be okay. Oh, good. And make sure there's no lump today. Well, I think that looks good, Chef. What do you think? That's the texture we need. Oh, good. So that's a uh, very nice uh, texture and nice. it will be good. So Godwin, nice. now we are done the batter okay. and uh, I will uh, just dip the chicken wings into the flour. And while uh, Godwin is doing that, uh, I got my oil is getting hot. You need to make sure the oil is really hot because the chicken wing is already cooked. So you just need to get the batter cooked and that's ready. So it's a very simple recipe and ready to go. Okay, um, I can hear the oil um, oh, really hot, so I'm putting the wings in there and uh, it's going to be a good kai kai. And it will take only about uh, two minutes in there. Yeah. So almost ready, so I'm going to take them out. That didn't take long. That didn't take long, two and a half minutes. And you can see it's nice and golden brown. That's the way it should be. There you go. Beauty. Can't wait to try it, Chef. My mouth's watering already. I just want to take a bite out of it. That's great. <laughs> wow, that looks good. But when you can uh, smell the taste as well. Mm. It's definitely hot, but I can smell all the ingredients that we use. It smells good. And that's the last chicken piece. I can't wait to try this. Our chicken is ready, Chef. High five. Voila. It's ready. I'm going to make the chili mayo now. I'm going to mix the chili sauce with the braised mayonnaise. And Godwin, give it a mix. Once again, this is not for the faint-hearted. I'll do the final touch. I got my chili mayo ready. And I'm going to get that onto the plate. Final touch from the chef with our fresh uh, basil. Well, chef, you know what? can actually wait to try this. Viewers, thank you so much for watching Cooking with Goodman Filda. Thank you, Chef Roger. Let's go and share this with our friends. Why not? What a great dish, not to mention it's very easy and simple to make, just perfect. Well viewers, you can simply cook up a meal like that at your home using quality cooking products from GFI. Good friends, good food, that's Goodman Filder. Well Godwin, let's take our first break now, but on the other side we have more, so stick around.
Welcome back. If you've just joined us, you're watching House and Home. Are you too tired of doing laundry with your bare hands? Well, Brian Bill comes to your rescue. Just have a look at these washing machines. Here's Leon with the details. Good evening and welcome to Shopping with Brian Bell. I'm your host, Leon Gawi. Tonight we check out washing machines and how washing machines are important to all households and these appliances that can help enhance your life. We see brands like Fisher & Paykel, Simpson and West Point. So let's not delay, let's get straight into it. Washing machines are an important asset to have especially if you have a large family that you have to take care of or if you're the landlord and you have rooms, units, flats or houses for rent, washing machines are a massive pull feature for potential tenants. So why are washing machines so important? Well, apart from the obvious fact that they wash your clothes, there are other benefits like 1. It can save you time. While your washing is being done, you can do other things. Two, the load that you can wash, how much clothes you can wash at one particular time. And three, the fact that it can wash your clothes consistently better than sometimes you can wash your clothes. Now the first thing you have to remember is load capacity. How many items of clothing that you have to wash on average. This is important because the more items of clothing you have to wash, the more water you will have to use. So if you have an average of 15 pieces of clothing that you wash, then you wouldn't need to go past a 5 kilogram capacity washing machine as opposed to mothers in larger families who do the laundry for everyone and thus the load capacity is important when choosing your washing machine. Now you also have to keep in mind where your washing machine will sit and the dimensions about your washing machine, the height, the width and the length. A perfect way of doing this is with a tape measure. With a tape measure you can get the length, the width and the height so you can find the correct size washing machine that will fit perfectly into your laundry space. Now the first product we'll check out is this West Point 6kg washing machine. As it suggests, this has two tubs, one for the washing part of your laundry and rinsing where your clothes are being tumble washed then rinsed in the first tub and the other tub to spin dry your wash clothes before you hang it out. West Point Twin Tub washing machines are more economical with water consumption because you can manage the amount of water being used for washing and rinsing your load of laundry and thus minimizing your costs and saving you money. Now the next product to show is this Fisher & Paykel 8kg capacity fully automated washing machine. This washing machine is perfect for the medium to large sized families, the individual sharing accommodation or landlords looking to cater to their tenants. Now, this washing machine is perfect and will cater to all your needs. The reason why I'm saying this is particularly for two reasons. One, it's economical with water consumption and two, it's economical with power consumption. Both these things in turn will save you a little extra money. This washing machine has several features like the wash mat modes for the types of material that you need to wash such as regular, heavy, delicate, wool, allergy, and quick wash. These features are customized for the particular type of fabric, another smart feature of this Fisher & Paykel washing machine. This washing machine also allows you to dictate or control the water level, water temperature, and the revolutions per minute of the spin dryer, and has an echoactive option for your wash. To top it all off, there is a timer display to show the progress of your laundry.
Now the last product I want to show you in our line of washing machines is this Simpson 9.5 kilogram capacity washing machine. This washing machine is a bigger washing machine, but it's primarily for the bigger families. And in bigger families, the parents are the ones that usually take care of the kids. And these families are usually are typically made up of um, a lot of kids, a lot of toddlers, and teenagers. Now these families can get through a lot of clothes in a day. Kids can get messy and cause a big mess and sometimes give you a difficult time cleaning up. The large 9.5 kilogram capacity allows for the laundry to be done in bulk as opposed to being done individually. Another fact is that this washing machine is easy to use and operate and can be understood by practically anyone. And as such, this can be taught easily to teenagers so they can do the chores and help themselves. Now a notable mention that we have here at Brian Bell are the range of dryers that we have. Now, these dryers are very good when there's been a lot of rain and not as much sunlight and you need to get your laundry done. Also, these dryers are perfect for when you're in a confined area or when you're living in a unit with confined area or a place where there's a lot of rainfall and not enough sunlight to dry your clothes. Brian Bell stocks and sells a great range of excellent dryers that can do the job for you. Our dryers and washing machines are also backed up and supported by Brian Bell Service Guarantee. And should anything ever go wrong with your dryer or your washing machine from Brian Bell, we can fix it and we provide the same quality genuine parts for our retail products. So there you have it guys. Brian Bell is your one-stop shop for all your washing machine needs. We have excellent twin tubs to fully automated washing machines that are perfect for you. And we have great service and quality that will match these washing machines. And always remember, great prices, great products, that's Brian Bell. Until the next time, good night and God bless. Wow, God, when it surely does make life easy, doesn't it? Does. it? Grab yourself one, it will totally save you all the energy and time. Does it ever occur to you that whenever you see an old flat crappy tire somewhere maybe lying on your yard or your garage and you think it's useless, well stop right there. Because here at House and Home, we don't think so. We will show you how you can turn that into something great and very useful like a jumbo flower pot or a jumbo cup of flower pot. Take a look. Practically creative is the result of being mentally constructive. That is simply making something useful out of things that are regarded by all as less important. Today, we're taking old worn-out car tires, which you normally throw and get creative. Our friends from Tire Ministry will teach us how to convert this. That's right, we're going to make these cool swings transform the look of your garden. Uh, my name is uh, Lyo Poker and we make them out of uh, old useless tires. Things that are thrown away, uh, we take them and make use of those uh, thrown away things, uh, turning rubbish things into uh, beautiful products where we can be able to sell. Uh, this uh, work is to motivate or to inspire those who think that they are useless or hopeless, uh, people who are like me. Yeah. So when we do those things, we uh, motivate uh, people who think they are useless because there is a message in the, in the tire itself. Even it's useless, but inside that uh, useless tire, 
there are flower pots, there are swings, there are furniture. So the message is uh, there's, there's a potential inside somebody and the person doesn't even know who he is. Just like the Thai itself, he does not know uh, what is inside the useless Thai until we use the knife to cut into the tire and we bring out the chairs and the tables and the swings. They were not in the tire until we use the knife and we cut through the tire and then we discover uh, those uh, uh, products that are inside the tire. And those things that were discovered in the tire, uh, I did not lend them in a vocational and nobody taught me. Uh, they were gifted uh, by, by God. And my education level just stopped at grade seven. And I, when I accepted Christ, uh, uh, Jeremiah 33 verse three was the first scripture I, I found in prison. It says, uh, call to me and I will answer you and I will show you wonderful and marvelous things you know nothing about. And those are the things that I found in the useless tire. <laughs> Step number one. We begin with marking the tires. You need to do this to the tire before cutting it. Step number two. All you have to do is cut just the half of the ring with a knife or a switch blade. Make sure the knife or the blade you're using is sharp. And I mean very sharp, so that you don't have a hard time with the cutting process. And this is how the first part of the swing should look like. Step number three. Use convey belts or if you can't find any, you can use your tire to cut a piece to join to both sides of the swing. Step number four. This is how you should join the belts to the side of the swings. Step number five, you want to go furthermore with that by adding some paintings to make it look pretty. You can get creative with designs. And that's no better way to give your old items a new lease of life. So join us next time for more creativity of this sort. Welcome back everyone. If your job is stressing you out, if you're addicted to chocolates or junks or maybe fatty foods and you are so lazy as you ever can be, you don't want to miss out on what is next as we now join Dr. Ambi for help as she will share to us on lifestyle, diseases and health. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Welcome to Healthy Mind. Oh, viewers, what a wonderful evening. And nice through law, come now. Talk, talk, law, one blood, beautiful job. And this topic, and me, Hamamas, because it, it, you need for whoever you are, as long as you're human, we need to listen today. That's all about lifestyle diseases and your health. 
Well, viewers, what are we going to talk? Because decision, emi stop law, han blow you me. All right? Decision, law, make him today, one him kind decision you make today, it's going to have a big time impact, law, life blow you. You know, all same life, time he talk talk life, yeah, emi health blow you straight. So, you know, all same, uh, today you me talk talk, now nah, you by laugh, now nah, talk or same, eh, Mary I talk one em, no God, em time blow you me lot change. Because plenty time, why we are talking about lifestyle diseases and your health? Because plenty time, you me think him or same, me, me, or same blow, come blow one blow province, me by team, or say, or province blow you, me, and me got tri blow money stop, na resources stop, na you me think thing lo some blow kind time, lo come blow five years time or six years time. Lick, lick money, you me kiss him, yeah, and you me no spend him right. You me go kaika all kind kind kaika penis na you life blow you only one blood time tussle. Suppose you me no make him five five kina tussle he stop, now you buy him one blood kumu na now about rayuka. Kai kai, right kai kai, and by you stop five ply, you know, five ply years, hundred years by you stop now. Look, look, law, look. one him something you dream money stop. But the problem is the social change is happening. Plenty all, all papa, mama now, all friends blow you me, yeah, all kai kai now passing blow you me entire, or same lifestyle, or same passing blow you me, mm, karem you me go law, kind way law kai kai all, you know, right things now, and bagrapim body blow you, you know, body that's all mind too, and bagrapim plenty something because time body and bugger up and we got tripla heavy by come up low mind blow you mental health blow you now mind and bugger up and two by cut the effect low come low physical health so despite having choice and the control and me stop low hand blow you me me looking more same lifestyle issues me pine him or same low look look sampler statistics here yeah. or talk, talk or same law such as what we eat Go na sit down na thing him. One him something you me kai kai day to day. Number two, how often are you exercising? M nara plus something. Now whether we choose to smoke or drink too much alcohol, M M is something M stop lo hand blow you. But lifestyle diseases have come and remaining a leading cause of death. M M you stop lo high on top or you earn him tripla money or you earn him liquid money. You stop one M up. Me no clear life, and me papa God, and give him low hand blow you choice, and stop low hand blow you. Now, types of lifestyle diseases when we talk about lifestyle disease, and passing and come up low this la. So, you will see that uh, you know something or some cancer, or heart disease, or diabetes, or high blood pressure, or stroke, or kind kind sick, and karam up him, you know, kidney diseases, and these are not communicable, these are non communicable diseases. So emi got tripla uh, effecti emi stop lo this last side or same you me must look look because the top ten cases of death in Australia in 2009, all pine him out of 20, 14 of them are lifestyle diseases. All pine him uh, stroke, na uh, heart problem, and cause him big time death. Or same even in America or Europe, or even in country blow you me, or same one plus concern, and me come up low this la. So low side blow, you drink so much, now you spark no good through, cirrhosis blow, uh, liver, and liver, and me go tripla bagger up and me come up or some cirrhosis and also claiming plenty of people to die and also uh, you know sick blow kidney too you got blood sugar problem and by caramel you go low kidney de, you know one in here low kidney diseases too and come up so me or oh, finally most of law australia and all talk also 13,000 lifestyle related cancer deaths are there every year or pine him 29.8 percent of people deaths are caused by cancer so all talk or same similar similarly all want all data lo look look lo lifestyle blow you me the pinpointing to the smoking and poor diet alcohol uh, issues and insufficient exercise being overweight and exposure all to the lifestyle choices 
choice ya emi stop lo han blo you me you can't point fingers at your daddy your mummy or something em you me yes must do thing na narpla o sem lifestyle diseases em come tripla penis now diseases o sem we know it is non communicable diseases and number two we have to entertain is o sem you are what you eat why i said you are what you eat is the national health survey 2007 and 2008 only talk australians all talk or say three of uh, three out of five people are overweight or they become obese so we you and i have to go and think where are we going? what is contributing towards my obesity because time you got obesity or this like kind yeah you know lack of exercise not only what you eat what you are it the exercise we are not doing enough exercise so only talk or same low sampler kind diseases associated with obesity is all same type 2 diabetes and arthritis scrublo you me or go penis as we grow old you're going to be in trouble hypertension that is high blood pressure or same high cholesterol okay and stroke cardio you know stroke come up na heart attack come up or same or kind kind attributing to all these things got heavy em come up lo kidney too so kidney failure so we are going and spending so much of money in the hospitals and clinics na about pinim excuse lo pinim algada emi chance emi stop lo hand blow you if you want to stay healthy choice em blow you na narpla point o same smoking can kill oh you looking blow packet na about na you save penis cigarette smoke is not only that is create asthma chronic obstructive lung diseases and cancer and kind kind something am leading cause of death also so we talk all same it is one of the habits you have to think about what you are smoking marijuana or one m kind or whatever you start changing what kind of thing are you smoking whatever you smoke has got impact on your lungs and your health and your money and also more importantly your mental health now last but point awesome alcohol is a cause of lifestyle this is to we are not talking about you drinking alcohol and now creating acute intoxication now this la time you drink na abuse na binge drinking na one am kind biru by come up lot this la no god the chronic use of alcohol is having a major impact on brain major impact on your kidneys and your liver your heart your intestines and not only that cancer infections and so on are importantly interwound that means emits up inside law this la kind habit and bring him all this la kind kind day you buy spend him all get that then you can imagine the financial uh, impact on you and something emi come up em you got no got way lo control him but you have got the way to control in what you are eating how you are exercising you can control him all this la sick so the mental health issues addiction and dependence of alcohol is also so we are coming to the end i'm not talking all about lifestyle diseases today we are only having a concept and how we can prevent life sciences i remember walk for life with governor we go every sunday me look him also lo tribe la little tall pekinini em start walking and that is a good habit so start having uh, a habit of good eating habit good exercising habit and the choice is in yours and what are we going to do we have to know go home lifestyle diseases can be prevented start thinking how you may can change him life blow you that also have mental health issues financial issues and relationship issues well viewers we have come to the end but i know something uh, providing this la kind information a chance in a blow meet us all blow family blow meet us all and family blow or same all get a man marry or same or same family blow me or same be serious must make a difference today 
TMSWHANBLOYU and make a difference and make a healthy nation to enjoy what God has given in every provinces, all the beautiful uh, you know, resources which you and I can enjoy if we can look after ourselves and stay for 100 years. Until next time, and put in one pla, big pla, important three, put in Papa God first. No God religious, one name kind come. Walk law, word law, Papa God. Whatever the denominations come together, pray together. Get your life in the hands of God. You can make a big difference. Until then, take care. Now God bless you all. Bye-bye now. Healthy Mind was proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. They say where the mind goes, the man follows. So it's very important to have a healthy mind to tackle any battle that comes your way. Now let's take a quick breather, but more on the other side. So often we pay little attention in cleaning our own dirt on the rugs. Take a look and see why cleaning a rug is important. A living room is usually the first thing a guest sees when he or she walks into your home. It is very important that in order to give a good first impression, you must first have order in your living room. Just remember, a clean home equals a clear mind. Start off with your furniture. Rethink your setup and move them out of the way before you can start cleaning or doing anything else. Play some music. This is only optional, but music helps you enjoy what you are doing. Get a damp cloth. Wipe down your TV, windows and coffee table. Books and magazines are often carelessly left on the floor and this is not a good look. Tidy all this up. Clean underneath and inside the couch. This may be a dirty task, but it must be done if you do not want any future house guests to accidentally pull out a slice of moldy bread from in between the cushions. Also, dust and allergens can gather in this area, which makes the air your family breathes unhealthy. Clean off all tabletops. There should be no clutter on your tabletops. Organize the front door area of your living space. Shoes should be neatly lined up on a carpet area, or better yet, in a closet, hidden from view. Otherwise, there should be nothing else to clog up the entryway to your home. Time to put your furniture back in place. Anything you've moved earlier needs to be returned to its original place. That's it. Your house is clean and is ready for any guests you might have. Welcome back. Now at home we have so many bits and pieces of stuff around which are reusable but some of which we throw away because we don't even know what else to do with them or simply for the fact that we always want new things. Such as nail polish, duct tape, 
plastic wraps or even leftover bread in the fridge. Well, that's why we bring you this show. We are more than happy to help you on how you can put some of this stuff to great use. Little things do have the potential to become great. Watch this. Ever had a hard time trying to keep your smartphone upright so that you could preview your videos or pictures? Try using a pair of sunglasses or some regular reading glasses as a stand. Use a variety of binder clips to keep the power cords around your desk untangled, organized and out of the way. Attach the clips to your desktop or other surfaces and insert the end of each cord to the silver loop. Use a leftover bread tab to hold your spot on a roll of masking tape. Ramp up your online security by using non-English characters and letters in your passwords. Ever wondered how to get to the leftover toothpaste at the bottom of the tube? Try using a binder clip to make things easier. Too many cords to keep track of? Color code them for easier use. Try using colored sticky notes. Clean a dirty keyboard by using a piece of clear tape to get between the keys. Download Stay Focused, a browser add-on to keep you from drifting to time-wasting websites and losing focus when you've got deadlines. Fix wobbly office furniture by using old CDs to avoid wobbles and protect the carpet. Avoid smudges and fingerprints on your screen by wrapping it with clear plastic wrap. Yes, and wasn't that amazing? I'm pretty sure you agree. Thank you so much for watching House and Home. Unfortunately, that's all we have for you tonight. I hope you did enjoy watching this episode. Like we always say, if you'd like to see more of our episodes, please visit MTV Online to watch. Now remember viewers, there is more you can get for your home and lifestyle improvements when you tune into House and Home every Tuesday. Until the next episode. I'm Victoria Aguima. And I'm Godwin Eki. On behalf of the entire House and Home team, have a pleasant night and enjoy the rest of the week. Good night. We care about improving lifestyles. It's all about the better man for your life with house and home.